Hello everyone and welcome back to Reentry. We're on the 52nd anniversary of the launch of Apollo 11. I live streamed myself conducting the mission up to the separation of the CSM and LEM, the combined Apollo spacecraft, from the S4B stage that boosted it towards the moon in sync with the audio from Apollo in realtime.org. Well, sort of in sync. I tried my best. Uh, that's going to be complicated with the TLI because our TLI burn, I think, happens a little bit differently at a different time than the audio TLI burn. But anyway, during this audio, you'll occasionally hear me asking questions of Aprop60, a frequent viewer on my Twitch live streams, who tries to get me to play re-entry often, and I generally don't do it very often. But uh, he knows much more about the systems in it than I do, so I asked and got the information I needed to make sure I didn't die. So anyway, here is the original audio from the live stream. I'm adjusting my approach to the moon here. We want to get the time going to be up there. Is that right, Neil? Yeah, that's right. Okay. Nine, five, three, on now, do I press execute? We have not started any program. Do I press execute or do we I just leave this be for now? Yeah, I guess. Well, for now, I'm going to leave this be since it's ticking down a time to burn, and I've got the other information that you want. We can. Would you tell me when we change over from Araya 4 to Araya 3? Yes, sir, I sure will. Okay. I can wait for more information there. So. I'm running the concatenated, use the S4B burn planner to set up the burn before running P15. I've got time warp a bit to try and match times with them. We'll be lucky if we get there. Well, I'm trying to be in sync with Apollo 11 and they started early, the darn astronauts and their, their ways. This is the 52nd anniversary. Apollo 11, this is Houston. You are go for TLI. No, I didn't eat steak and eggs. We are go for TLI, they say. Thank you. Hick execute again. If you're sure. So we're 28 minutes to the burn. Execute. It gives me this black screen, which is not a good sign. Okay, um... So, all right, we're running the checklist. Right, get rid of that. It's light outside. Ordeal up. Pyro arm. They've already done this in the audio. Okay, so now. Verb, 30, oh. oh, not key release, 37, enter, 1, 5, enter, okay, now how the heck do I set up program 15? <laughs> Again, I can't look at the manual because if I do it prevents me from clicking anything in here until I reload the state, so we'd have to start from scratch. 96. Okay, that's not 96. You sure it's not 95 that we want? 95, okay. So we're on 95. So this is the time for ignition, which is actually earlier than I thought it was going to be. I thought our ignition time was 2 hours, 28 minutes, and 38 seconds. What this is saying is that our ignition time is 2 hours, 25 minutes, and 43 seconds. So that's not what the planner told me. Um, VG, these are velocities. I assume that's what we need to burn. We're expecting 10,445 feet per second, which should be about right in terms of meters per second. So that's our delta V. Up 
3,183 meters per second, which is actually a little bit much, but it's acceptable. And I assume that's the total velocity that we'll end up at. No, that's our current velocity. So this is our initial velocity right now in orbit, and this is our delta V that we're burning. Okay. So, do we proceed on this setup P15? We have 21 minutes to figure this out. <laughs> we definitely have to orient and everything. Okay, we are proceeding on that. Okay, FDAI up. Uh, okay, that's over there. Uh, nope, that's pilot seat. Okay, so we're pressurized, uh, doing pressurization stuff. TVST servo. Up. Uh, complete the burn. Uh, I sure hope it's, or it's gonna orient itself properly without me doing anything. Hopefully. <laughs> uh, I, 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 I've never been particularly thrilled with relying on it to do that. On the bright side, it seems to be going to the right place. This is the prograde vector. Assuming it's aligned right. I didn't do any star alignment or anything. <laughs> so hopefully it's, it's, it's right and everything. It would be zero zero is the prograde vector. We might have some inclination or something to adjust. So it might be a little bit off. It seems to be going in generally the right direction. We can probably check on the external view, yeah. You can tell by the way the ground is moving. That yeah, this is prograde. We just don't want to be retrograde. <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's all. Okay. So it seems to be doing something right. Delta V on the... Okay, Delta V. And now, how do we acquire the Delta V from this? I assume... Uh, we probably want to... This is Apollo Control. Have that We're number in here, maybe, or... Translunar injection. We want to add... Uh, do I just do it manually and increase this? Per second ...to the spacecraft's velocity. Looking for a total velocity at the end of this burn, about 35,575 feet per second. Oh, okay, we're just gonna go with what we end at instead of trying to set it to a number. That's fine. That number has changed, hasn't it? <laughs> um, hold on a sec. Uh, by one feet per foot per second. Oh. Apparently, our using the APS has changed our velocity in orbit by one foot per second. Oh, they're igniting already. They're faster than us. We should time warp a little bit. They're, they're already igniting. Oh, shoot! Okay, well, well, not, not that fast. Ooh. Okay. Now we're just 1 minute and 41 seconds. We're a little bit late, but... It'll give it time to reorient. It's a little bit off right now. Uh-oh. Okay, I hope it's okay. I hope I didn't ruin everything. Hey, Prop, have I ruined everything with that time warp? Give her a helping hand. With the I think it's okay. I think it's it's uh, settled in. It's a little bit off. Well, 
We better get it's this. Like a, so, a pitch change than it's a little bit off degrees. now. Oh. Okay, we got the light in the right. We had S2 SEP light. I hope that's okay. Hopefully the J2 the gimbling will take another, care of it. Three minutes to go. Well, we're going. That thing isn't ticking at all, a prop. Maybe that should have been on normal. Ah, it should have been on normal, a prop. You didn't tell me. <laughs> it should be 10,444. That's what we're looking for. It's, it's all over the place, really. It's just sort of vaguely in the right direction. We're two minutes behind. Uh, I don't want to try and help the S4B. I don't know what that thing is actually trying to show us. That seems completely wrong. We'll figure out a correction if we need it. One thing I feel reasonably certain of is that they did not try to help the S4B during this bird, so I am not going to do that. The velocity that we're going to end up at is faster than what they're, they seem to be ending up at, by about three to 400 feet per second, which seems like a lot. Houston, we show, show cut off and uh, we copy the numbers up now on 62. Post TLI activities. Well, it's not something that we run, apparently. Okay, well, I don't know if that's reading right. Let's see what the map says. We can't see the map anymore. Oh, there we go. Um, well, I guess we'll have to hope. I don't see an encounter if it's supposed to show us one. It was Neil Armstrong praising the launch vehicle. There's, there's something buggy around here. It's still uh, highlighting the moon. We have no complaints with any of the three stages uh, on that, that ride. It was uh, beautiful. Well, proceed uh, on that. Copy, uh, no transient at stage. Okay. That's right. It was all, uh, all TVC right. servo Houston, middle. Pyro arm down, down. down Ordeal. For your information, we expect the maneuver to separation attitude to begin at uh, 3 plus 0, 5 plus 0, 3. And well, it wants at, EMS uh, mode back to standby. Uh, and record. Where's record? I don't even have a record. Roger. Oh, I, I was supposed to write down the delta V. That's fine. And then off. Okay. Don't care about the tape recorder. Okay. Um. So, are we good to verb eighty-two here? A prop. This is Apollo Control. The velocity is falling off now. Immediately after shutdown, we're showing thirty-four thousand feet per second. Now, with the altitude uh, building 512. That will give us our apoapsis and periapsis and everything. I guess we don't, strictly speaking, need to do this. But I guess we will. Well, okay. Yes, our apoapsis is... 
hi. <laughs> it's higher than what it's reading there. It's uh, overrun the number of digits. Um, I wonder in 1.5 nautical mile periapsis. We're not that. That's supposed to be a re-entry thing, so that doesn't matter. So I'm just gonna proceed. Uh, maybe I should. Okay, reset. Clear. Well, that's not showing what I want anyway. Alright, docking probe. Well, let's just run. Nope, we're trapped. RCS propellant gray verify. So we want to up, 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 up. Those are gray. Those are gray. And we have to get them on the buses. Up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. And then they try to trick you. It's down, up, down. Up. Oh, oh wait, that was that tricked me. Wait, what? Uh, up, down, up, <laughs> down, down, up. Okay. EMS null bias check. Seems seems zero. Get a line now. GDC line. Well, set delta VC to negative 100. This is Apollo hmm. Control at three hours into the mission. Velocity How does one do now, that? Delta V set? Feet per second. Negative 100. Oh, shoot. 1, um, that's more than I want. <laughs> oh, oh this, this button. Oh, this has got to be very annoying to hear. Sorry. Okay. EMS selector... 1. Alright. Middle. Down. Set ASCP. What's an ASCP? B... Oh, B mag. Oh, here. Okay. Well, I guess I'll just have to click 180 times. Okay, fine. Well, that seems okay. Up. B mag roll. Up. Pitch. Up. Yaw. Up. All right, set debt fifty nine thirty. How do we do that? <laughs> this is Apollo Control. Oh, event timer here. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, stop. Okay, that's stopped. All right. Um, can I get the full view here? All right. Nine. Oh shoot. Oh no 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 no. Oh fudge. It's only forward. Oh no, there's a down button there. I see. Okay. 
flight GNC. Let me know when you see the dam loaded, okay? At three hours, seven minutes, the velocity is 27. All right, that's done. Five feet per second. Distance from Earth, 2,384 nautical miles. Next. Are we in the right orientation? I suppose we would like to be in daylight as well. We are. Uh, probably not the best sunlight. We would like to orient so that the sun is sort of shining on the lens. Okay. Extend. Um, you sure we shouldn't do the propellant thing with jigs? All right, so we're on this one then. Four minutes away from separation. Four minutes. Well, they haven't done separation yet, so we should wait. I extract attitude. Um, okay, I'm just I'm just gonna go through what we've got. Separation. Verb. O six. No. Rates are less than one tenth of a foot per second in all axes. Is it doing what it's supposed to do right now? Not. No. Uh, it can be done that way, fine. Okay. FAO, you get in input on this? No. Says extraction attitude. I don't see our attitude changing, though. Are we okay? I'll proceed with the uh, flicking stuff. Okay. All right. Now we Four go to separation. start. Well, they're one minute to separation. Your go for separation. Uh, our system's recommendation is uh, arm both pyro buses. Over. We have armed both pyro buses. Okay, start, uh, wait, uh, did you, no, start, <laughs> okay, CMC mode auto, gosh, uh, over there, okay, I need to be able to see, uh, okay, CMC mode auto, Uh, launch ve vehicle set. I'll oh, emulate. <laughs> okay. Um, uh, THC release. What does that mean? Uh, we're a little bit askew. Okay, uh, well, at least we're not too... Okay, we're thrusting forward. Oh, that's 0.5. Oh, no, that's backward. No, no. Okay. All right. All right. I'm assuming we can do this now. Yeah. 
Oh, they haven't done it yet. They were delayed. Right now we're probably yeah, we're we're not in the best attitude. Okay, let me zero things out here, hopefully. I would super duper like to see uh may, uh no, I still can't see the top arrow. But that's roll anyway. At least we can see these. This one's the yaw, that's the pitch, so that should be fine. But we're obviously translationally off right now. So we have a weak signal strike. Yeah, the problem is if they're rotating around, the antenna's probably not pointed where they want it to point. They should have figured this out ahead of time, though. Up oh, there it is. Okay. Why is there a lo seam here, darn it? I don't need that in my life. Well, we're gonna put these Kerbal manual docking skills to work here. So I'm trying to parallelize. This is as close as I can zoom. Got my nose pressed against the window, apparently. There's that thing. Is it this one? Okay, you're coming in loud and clear, but the mic is just barely readable. That looks like a T thing. Ah, uh, he got there. Read the manual. The red manual is a bit of a mess, to be honest. I would read. <laughs> I've looked at the manual. I'm not impressed by its organizational format. If it's in the dark, that's not going to be any good. Oh, uh, we have a light, don't we? The manual is outdated. Hold on. Exterior light. Rendezvous. They didn't even tell me about that. Does that help? Oh. Well, sort of. Can we get that steady? <laughs> Okay, that's better. Uh, yes, it does support a track IR, and I have track IR, but I, uh, it's a little bit complicated because of the multiple seats. Well, it's an important thing to get right. So, it looks like the T, so, we're saying I should roll over, right? A prop, it's not a small change to uh, 20 to 30 degrees left. It's more like a big change to all the way around, right? Okay, I can see it now, so I'm going to slow my closer rate. Okay, I'm just trying to even out what's on that side of the S4B with what's on this side, so I think we have to go a little bit further this way. But the uh, shading might be tricking me, so I think we'll get closer. We all die. That's a spirit. Uh, it's a little bit off. Ah, we're off, we're off, Pitch two one three 
torching the limb here. Now 44 is NA. Delta VT. Oh. Oh. Zero, zero. One at nine or seven. Uh. Zero, zero, three. Zero, zero, one, five, two. The rest of the pad is NA. No willage. Limb weight. Three, three. Two, nine, zero. Back over. I'm not doing this right. I'm not doing this right. Uh, hold on. Can I see? Uh, let's just stop, 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 stop. Alright, stop. We're like that. <laughs> but switching to this view We've we we've drifted. Ah uh, I was so close backing off. Apollo eleven this is Houston, standing by for your reef back over. Zero one zero. Yeah, zero. let's see. Flood. Our zero, alignment zero. is off. Zero. We'll cheat. Oh, that's the wrong way. Crew option. Two, one, three, we'll do the Kerbal five, way. Seven. NA. Zero, zero, one, nine, seven. Zero, zero, three. Zero, zero, one, five, two. We need the external view. Lem weight. Three, three, two, nine, zero. Over. Eleven, this is Houston. Read back correct. Out. We're going to keep doing this stuff uh, in line with when they do it, so... We're not going over to the moon yet. We gotta pull the limb out, and then when they get to the moon, we'll get to the moon. Okay, Frank, can you see? Can you check that in the sim? Could you see the booster in the sim? No, we we don't know whether we could see it or not. That's right. We only have one target base on that's the limb after we end off too. So you couldn't, Brad. Okay, so we all we have to go by is the numbers we calculate today. Okay, now can you do a P? Can you do an optic scale on that? Is there a star that he can tweak over to? Uh, the, the, this the seam here okay, makes it look like it's two of those. That's not helpful. <laughs> I'm just saying. I don't know what that seam is for. Well, I don't know. That looks pretty good to me. Ah, no. Okay, check the roll rate again. Uh huh. That's point one meters per second. Houston, we're ready for landing section. Ready, Tom. GMC, go fly. GMC, go fly. Go ahead, Jeff. Uh, Roger, go for landing section. Thank you. At least they take a little bit of time to do all that stuff. I need finer control on my joystick right now. I can't really zero what's going on very well right now. I think it's good enough. I'm sure there's some fud funge, you know, territory. Right? <laughs> Please? Oh, okay. Well, but wait a minute. What, how, how does it? Why, why is it off to that side? Okay. All right. We docked. See, uh, uh, probably I could have done it even worse than that and I've been fine. All right, Roger. Yeah. Well, I, I, that was what I said. Why am I saying Roger? I mean, look at where it ends up. It's not even close. <laughs> All right. Post docking. Well, I guess we can turn off the... Where's that? That thing. Now that makes a difference. Uh... 
coming up at all. Yeah, we can switch off the EMS yeah, stuff. I think all the RCS logic was already open. Um, LEM power is off. Tunnel lights on. Okay. Okay, where's my S4B SEP checklist? Uh, there, there's an S4B SEP button, I could just press it. But, may I have to arm some pyros? There's no checklist? That's weird. <laughs> That's weird. So, alright, logically speaking, our pyros are armed, sequence logic is are active. It's just, was this one or? No, it's, uh, that was the CSM set under the disky. Uh, S4B Lemsep, right? Are we go for clicking this? We should check outside first. Okay, we're not bad. It's, it looks a little bit askew. Did we set? Can't even tell. Uh, external view. Oh, we're well, reclipping, so probably. Not the greatest separation ever. But alright. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. Okay, well, we're free. Okay, so with that, I time warp to Lunar SOI entry, and I'll pick it up from there when I next stream re entry, either on the 19th or 20th, depending on whether I want to do the lunar uh, orbit insertion and landing on the same day or not. Uh, I'll have to see, but I'll look forward to that. I've never tried that before, so it's, I don't know if it's going to work well or not. We'll find out. So, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. And I'll see you next time.